This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at what is the task of object instance segmentation in computer vision. Let us look at what are the approaches for solving this particular task. Let us also look into a demo of MM detection, a library or a framework for object detection and instance segmentation. Okay. So what is object instance segmentation? Okay. Before that, let's go into what are the tasks in computer vision. Okay. Computer vision has four basic tasks, image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation and instance segmentation. Okay. So the main purpose of image classification is to find a classification label from the classification label set and then to assign the label to the input image. Okay. The task of object detection is not just classific assigning classification labels to images, but also mark the location of specific objects. So image classification and object detection are foundation for solving complex problems in computer vision, such as object tracking, image segmentation and scene interpretation. Okay. Then comes the task of semantic segmentation, which refers to assigning a category label to each pixel in an image so as to segment and detect specific categories and finally label the boundaries. Okay. Now on top of that, you have instance segmentation, which provides different labels for individual instances in the same type of objects. It can be regarded as delivering the task of object detection and semantic segmentation at the same time, which is usually needed to deal with multiple overlapping objects and complex backgrounds. Okay. So if you look at this uh, image over here, right? So the first uh, task is image classification. Okay. Where you are giving a label to this image saying that stapler pen box and probably this is present in your training data, right? Or there is a, a classification label set from which you get a classification label. The next task is object detection. So here you are finding bounding boxes of objects in the images, right? Then you have the task of semantic segmentation where every pixel is given a value. And if you look over here, similar items or similar uh, objects are given the same values. Okay. This is semantic segmentation. Then you have instance segmentation where every object or an instance over here is actually given a specific label and the segmentation mask is also shown over here. Right? So this is what is instance segmentation. Now, what are the uses of instance segmentation? So this is a very nice article which talks about instance segmentation and they have some uh, application for instance segmentation. Okay. So what are the applications of uh, instance segmentations? Uh, so instance segmentation is useful for self-driving cars because for self-driving car with complex street scenarios, uh, the system needs to understand the surroundings. Okay. Where it could be, you know, very crowded street, lot of pedestrians, it could be a lot of vehicles on the road. So this is where you uh, require, uh, you know, instant segmentation, right? So another case is actually medical scans. So for example, you have histopathologic uh, pathologic images where your whole slide contains a large number of nuclei, uh, various shapes surrounded by cytoplasm. So how do you actually segment the nuclei or detecting tumors in MRI scans? Okay. Then you have satellite imagery, right? Where you have different objects, which are very small and are relatively close to each other. So how do you actually separate the ob uh, objects? For example, it could be detection and counting of cars. It could be ships detection for maritime security, oil discharge control. It could be segmentation of buildings for uh, geospatial analysis. Okay. So these are some of the applications of instance segmentation. So I would recommend you to read this tutorial. I'll put the link in the description of the video. This is a survey paper. Okay. So in this paper, they've also given the approaches for your instance segmentation. Okay. So what are the approaches for object instance segmentation techniques? So the first one is based on detection. It is based on object detection. So here convolution neural networks are used and here there is something called RCNN where uh, you, uh, there is a region proposal boxes on the images and then use a CNN for feature extraction. And they have actually extended it using some kind of masks to actually extract the instance segmentation. That is where you have this mask RCNN coming up. Okay. So this is method based on detection. Okay. 
so what they, this is an example of a mask r cnn uh, where what uh, was done is that you have this object detection uh, r cnn uh, framework where there is a region uh, there is a cnn from which uh, you know region there is a region proposal uh, network as well uh, which actually says which regions uh, corresponds to objects and then on top of that you have some region align uh, regions of interest align network as well and then from that a mask is actually extracted for the instance okay this is mask rcnn then the next approach so these approaches are based on uh, these approaches are based on your object detection but there is also pixel based approach so pixel ma based methods first predict the category label of each pixel and then group them to form instance segmentation results through methods such as clustering and metric learning so this is computationally uh, expensive and compared to detection methods this is generally less accurate because it needs to predict each pixel it puts higher demand on the computing power of the computer okay so here what they what happens is that in one of the methods ssap uh, it learns the probability that two pixels belong to the same instance by learning the affinity pyramid of pixel pairs and then based on short distance affinity and higher in the higher resolution image long distance affinity from the lower resolution image it kind of does semantic segmentation okay then there are other approaches like single stage instance segmentation uh, so compared with the uh, above two types of instance segmentation object and uh, pixel based single stage uh, instance segmentation technology has better computational efficiency and it also meet the requirements of real time in practical applications so here there is this yolo act algorithm it decomposes the instance segmentation into two subtasks generating a set of prototype masks and predicting the mass coefficient of each instance then an instance mask is generated by linearly combining the two subtasks so these are your single stage instance segmentation algorithms okay at one shot uh, it actually identifies the objects in the image and based on that uh, instance segmentation is done okay so you can read through this paper in fact uh, to fully understand this area you have to actually go through multiple papers to understand these different architectures okay i'm not covering that in this video so this was about what is instance based segmentation right now let's go to the mm detect library so i created another video on mm detection for object detection so mm detection is an open source object detection tool uh, box it is based on pytorch okay so it supports a lot of state of art algorithms for these different tasks like object detection instance segmentation pan opt uh, uh, pan optic segmentation and some other contrastive learning and distillation okay so it supports a lot of these models mem detection has a collab tutorial for instance segmentation let's go to the collab tutorial and try out instance segmentation with some of our own images uh, for that you need a gpu instance uh, this is the exact code uh, which they have in their tutorial i have not done any changes so first you need to install the necessary libraries okay you also have to download some of these checkpoints for this uh, uh, what you call your uh, instance segmentation uh, so what they use is a two stage uh, detector which is mask r cnn architecture about which i talked before okay uh, so you have to download the models and the checkpoints and you have to load these models over here and uh, you kind of put the model into evaluation mode okay so that is what is done in this particular piece of code and then what uh, you need to create a detector object and there is an uh, api high level api inference detector uh, so to the inference detector you pass the model and your image okay so the image which i am passing to this model is uh, this this image of the traffic and let's see how it does instance segmentation on this image okay so now uh, so let's run this code it actually does it really fast okay uh, only thing is that uh, the display takes a little bit time for the result over here so let's wait for the uh, you know uh, for generation of this result image okay on which object instance uh, segmentation is done so if you look over here right in a previous video where i did just the object detection part it used to actually give a bounding box right but in this case you see these segmentation masks around the objects okay and there is also a label for each object for example it has labeled this uh, as a bus right and this is the boundary of the bus 
okay this is a complex case because you have lot of overlap of images over here but uh, say if it is a self driving car kind of scenario you would want to do this kind of instance segmentations to understand the environment okay so in this case it has actually kind of given the mass of all the objects some of the objects it is not able to detect okay so for the detected objects it is actually giving the boundaries of the object or the masks okay now let's try with another image say maybe we'll try with this image of a table to see what kind of uh, results come okay so let's try with the table image okay uh, let's see the image how it looks like it takes couple of seconds for it to render the image okay so it has rendered the image so if you see over here it identifies this region as the book right it identifies this region as the keyboard right so here you have the keyboard okay it identifies uh, this as a cup the borders of the cup the entire area other than you know these objects is actually your table dining table and here you have your laptop uh, it is not very perfect kind of segmentation but okay it kind of does some decent segmentation and uh, for some of the objects the results are quite good over here in terms of the instance segmentation okay maybe let's try with one another example of a park okay um, so let's try this image okay let's see what gets rendered over here and how it does the instant segmentation okay so if you look over here uh, it identifies these objects as bench and it is done a very good segmentation of the bench right um, yeah maybe some small errors are there but still it's very good uh, instant segmentation okay so this was about uh, how you can do instance segmentation using mm detection uh, in fact mm detection supports a lot of other uh, models for instance segmentation so you can try out with these different models uh, so it has also yolo act it has something called solo which is at a pixel level yolo act is your single stage detection okay so you can try out uh, mm detection toolbox for instance segmentation I hope this video on instant segmentation was useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I will be putting the link of MM detection, the survey paper as well as this particular uh, article for you to read more about instant segmentation. See you in another video. Happy life.